Hello, and welcome back to Ominous Archives. Today, we'll be looking at an urban legend that I personally heard a lot of while growing up. A ritual used among kids to test courage. Today, let's talk about the Bloody Mary urban legend. Looking up the history of the Bloody Mary urban legend can be a little tricky. Origins can range from a modified version of a past ritual done to see the face of a person's future husband to being based on real-life figures infamous for slaughtering many. Unfortunately, it's because of this that it's hard to say when the legend as we know it first started being passed around. Currently, most people are familiar with the legend as a ritual meant to summon the spirit of Bloody Mary. It was very popular in the United States, usually done during sleepovers and as a dare. Unfortunately, from being passed around so much through word of mouth, the rules and situations needed aren't really defined. Things like if it actually needs to be nighttime, whether you need to be by yourself, and whether or not you need to light candles varies from version to version. But there are certain things that are always required. The bathroom needs to be dark and have a mirror. You need to stare into the mirror, chanting the spirit's name three times. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. If done correctly, the expected outcome is to see the image of Mary herself in the mirror. Whether all that happens is her ghostly appearance or whether she comes out and scratches your face is another thing that can vary from versions told. Although there have been people who have claimed to see her no one has ever been reported to actually be harmed from the spirit. But there have been people who have gotten injured from trying to perform the ritual. It doesn't matter if you're trying to summon an evil spirit. Please be cautious when being in the dark and using candles, kids. I think this urban legend is pretty popular. So I'm sure there are many of you who have tried it or at least heard of someone who has. I'm curious to know if this story is still being passed around to kids in current day. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ominous Archive, please leave them below. Also, I've recently stocked up my Etsy with more stickers and art prints. If you're interested, please take a look. Thank you for watching and sweet nightmares.